so at the moment I am working in the um, team looking after the infrastructure for Cherrywood, which is a new town in Dunleary Rathdown. Our team looks after the um, roads, the parks and the drainage systems that are needed to facilitate that development. So I think the benefits would be the interesting projects, there's a lot of challenges and the team in, Cher in Dunleary are very supportive and you get a lot of guidance. Uh, there's also a lot of benefits including flexi time and annual leave and remote working uh, that I think help with the work-life balance and uh, there's a good social club as well. Um, so I'm involved in a project called Beckett Road in Cherrywood, which is a 1.6 kilometre um, new road, which includes cycle lanes and uh, pedestrian crossings and all the engineering that goes along with that. Um, there's also a bridge underneath an existing dual carriageway, so to do that we need to um, build a temporary diversion of that existing road and then construct the bridge. And there's also, um, you know, drainage, utilities, um, and there's environment considerations as well because there's a wedge tomb adjacent to the road. So yeah, I think um, graduates would get involved in lots of different um, aspects of of making the community a better place to be. Um, I think you know, in Dunleary, you could get involved in uh, roads, water services, climate change, active travel, um, you know, beaches and the coast and there's all sorts of different aspects and I think there's more of a focus nowadays on um, sustainability and, and making sure that the places we live are um, more pleasant so engineers are key to, to improving all of that so yeah I think graduates will get involved in both technical engineering sides um, but also in kind of uh, budgets and um, report writing and um, getting an insight in the council into the, um, the local government side and the, dealing with elected representatives and understanding the public's uh, views on, on projects as they're being developed. The road, Beckett Road, that I'm looking after at the moment, it um, will provide access through Cherrywood, which will allow um, about 2,200 homes to be uh, built and occupied, which is obviously key at the moment with the housing crisis that we have in the country.